Hello, hello, my beautiful souls. It's your girl, Wounded Healer of Tarot, and I am back again with another reading here for you today. This will be a general energy reading surrounding the sign Aquarius. So do take what messages resonate with you, all right? If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning back to my channel, I want to welcome each and every one of you back. And I appreciate all of you for your love and your support. And since we're talking about support, rock with your girl, support your girl. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that share button. But also make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little notification bell so you won't miss when I upload more content and when I go live, all right? So I am so excited to bring you this message, Aquarius. It's been a minute since I've been on here. Um, forgive me, I have been healing um, from being sick. I've also been trying to gain my energy back. So I'm, like I said, so excited to bring you this reading. So we're going to do an energy check-in to see where my Aquarius is at at this time. So let's get into this reading. I'm going to hit my sound bowl. So if your volume is up low, I suggest you turn it down just a little bit for this little part because I'm going to hit it. So let's get into this reading to clear all the negative energies, all the negative entities and anything that want to attach to you that does not belong to you. Let's get into this reading. Amen. All right, all right, let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, my angels, my higher powers, and my ancestors, protect us as we go through the divine of tarot. What is the strongest energy surrounding my Aquarius at this time, Spirit? What is the strongest energies surrounding my Aquarius at this time, Spirit, calling on you? Important messages do Aquarius needs to know at this time, Spirit. Calling on you. What is the strongest energies? Let's get into this reading. Yes. I'm gonna give it a couple more good shuffles. What is the strongest energy surrounding my Aquarius at this time, Spirit? If it is a little loud outside, I do apologize. They are mowing the lawn. Let's get into this reading. What is the important message here for my Aquarius spirit? Yes. What is the strongest energy spirit? Show me the strongest energy surrounding Aquarius. All right. So you got that three of pentacles coming through here for you with your energy. This energy is all about collaboration. It's about partnerships. It's about building strong foundations here for you in the long run. It's also about reaching out, okay? So I feel because as you can see, we got three different hands, four different hands, excuse me. We got four different hands and the hands are going up. So I feel like for some of you Aquarius, you're going up here with your career. You're going up here with your growth, whatever it is that you're working on. Um, but you also could have people wanting to reach out here to you, to work with you, to partner with you, to collaborate with you. This could also be a promotion. This could be also a, a new job offer, new opportunities, new beginnings here with this three of pentacles showing up. All right. We got that trust card at the bottom which is the full so i love that this is telling you to trust in the universe trust in the things and the changes that are taking place in your life at this current time aquarius this energy is about you starting over here and taking a leap of faith and taking some sort of risk here all right for better growth for better development I feel like whatever this is, it is going to help you to become very successful here. I feel like you're going to be climbing a ladder up to the top and reaching for that victory, that ultimate victory that is rightfully yours and that you deserve. Let's dive a little bit deeper, Spirit. Tell me more about the strongest energies surrounding Aquarius at this time, Spirit. 
Show me the strongest energy. So let's move this right here. Show me the strongest energy surrounding Aquarius at this time. I feel like a lot is opening up for you here. I see that light coming down the middle, shining down upon you, Aquarius. So I feel like people are recognizing you, all right? People are seeing you, you know, how hardworking you are, how motivating you are. You know, you bring some sort of light to people, some sort of inspiration to people. And I feel like people are admiring you here. Definitely, I love this energy. Tell me more, Spirit, about the energy surrounding Aquarius at this point in time. What is the strongest energies? Let's get into it. Show me the strongest energies surrounding Aquarius. Thank you. Oh, wow, look at that. You got the Healer of Ages card coming through here for you, Aquarius. I feel like for some of you, you may be a healer. You may do something with your hands so you can be a Reiki healer. You can be a therapist. You can be a mentor. You can be a spiritual guide. But something here where you heal people, you heal their hearts. That something where they suffer from trauma, from pain, from grief, from heartache, from just something here that could have, you know, literally broken these these people down here i feel like you're very magical you're very powerful and people come to you for advice they come to you for answers they come to you for seeking certain knowledge and wisdom because you have it and you have it to share and at the bottom of the deck look at that yin and yang you talk about darkness and light you help people see their darkness you help bring them to the light that's what you are aquarius you're the hope card in, in any tarot deck you're the star okay so again going back to this yin and yang darkness and light you talk about divine feminine divine masculine this is about not only just being very charged up, brave and courageous, but I also see people also see that soft, nurturing, caring side of you, very compassionate, very loving, all right? You bring some sort of energy into people's lives. I'm getting inspiration again. I feel for some of you, you've healed your own heart, all right? And now it is time to shine and now it is time to share your story now it is time to share your wisdom some of you i'm getting you could be writing a book you could be very poetic having a way with your words you could be a motivational speaker you could be a spokesperson something here i'm where i'm getting where you are here to to speak publicly to the collective all right Let's dive a little bit deeper. Like I said, this yin and yang with this number 22, that's an angel number. That's a master number. Some of your birthdays could be on the 22nd of January. It doesn't have to be the case, all right? Let's get a little bit deeper into your reading. Spirit, tell me more about the strongest energies surrounding Aquarius at this time. Calling on you. Yes. Tell me the strongest energy. I feel like whatever you do, you're very passionate about it. We got a lot of fire here. So this is something that fuels inside of you. Yes, I love it. Tell me more. It's in you. Tell me more about the strongest energies here surrounding Aquarius at this time, spirit. Some of you are being called, okay, to go into that light. To show up and heal, to inspire, to help. Some of you are being called to go after your dreams. Tell me more. What is the strongest energies surrounding Aquarius? What is the strongest energies? Thank you. Ooh, look at that. Psychic protection. Psychic protection. You're divinely guided. You're divinely protected. You're divinely supported. It says, around me now, a shield of gold protecting me strong and bold look at that shield of protection look at that shield of armor any harm that tries to come towards you it's blocked automatically any type of ill energy coming towards you like i said in the beginning of this reading I'm blocking all of negative energy and negative entities because i feel that shift Again, you got all you have people watching you, people observing you. So some people don't mean you any good and they want to send harm your way. They want to give you the evil eye. Some of you are needing to get you a sort of protection to shield yourself, to protect your energy, to protect your space, to protect your good heart. 
Some of you are definitely needing to because people don't want to see you succeed. People don't want to see you do good in this world. But continue to keep striving. Continue to keep supporting. Continue to keep shining that wisdom and that knowledge. Because you have your angels backing you up. You have your ancestors backing you up. You have God backing you up. Look at that. Like, didn't I say that? At the bottom of the deck, we got the victory. They don't want to see you be victorious. They don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see you succeed. All right. So let's dive a little bit deeper into your reading. We're going to move right into this tarot. Spirit, show me the reason why the Three of Pentacles is showing up here. Why is this energy here? Show me why the Healer of Ages is here. Why is this energy here, Spirit? Show me why the psychic protection is here, Spirit. Show me this energy and why it is here for my Aquarius, Spirit. Why is this energy here? Yes, shield yourself. Shield yourself. Tell me more, Spirit. Why is this Three of Pentacles here, the Healer of Ages, and the psychic protection? Last shuffle. Why is this energy here, Spirit? Tell me why the Three of Pentacles is here. Give me three cards. Why is the Three of Pentacles here, Spirit? Thank you. Give me two more. Why is the Three of Pentacles here, Spirit? Thank you. And give me one more for the Three of Pentacles, Spirit. Give me one more for the Three of Pentacles, Spirit. Give me one more. Thank you. Show me why the Healer of Ages is here. Give me three cards. Spirit, thank you. Give me two more, Spirit. Why is the healer of ages here? Thank you. And last but not least, show me why the psychic protection is here, Spirit. Give me three. Why is the psychic protection here? Thank you. Why is the psychic protection here? Give me one more, Spirit. Thank you so much. All right, I love this energy. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Swords, okay? And at, right behind that is the Four of Cups, okay? So let's talk about the energies that came out. Let's go into this first row. You got the Three of Pentacles. You got the Five of Cups. You have the Four of Wands. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful energies showing up. This Five of Cups energy is about everything happens for a reason. Release regrets and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining, okay? So I feel with this Five of Cups is telling you to let go of the losses, let go of the hurt, let go of the grief, let go of the trauma, let go of the pain, let go of the regrets because there is everything happened in your life and everything happens for a reason trust the transitions trust the changes trust the process when it's all said and done we got this four of wands okay time for a celebration abundant rewards for our work release yourself from burdensome situations so for some of you the four of wands speaks about foundations it speaks about the home front so I feel for some of you, this is about letting go of anything, whether that is people, places, and things that does not serve you because you're going to have a reason to celebrate again because you're climbing up this ladder. You got people wanting to reach out to you. You got people wanting to collaborate with you and work with you because they see who you are because here you are, that nine of pinnacles. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. Look at that rainbow shining through here for you. The rainbow is letting you know that blessings and miracles are on its way to you, Aquarius. In a matter of time, and it's sooner than you, than you know it, okay? You could be seeing a lot of rainbows at this time as well, but I feel also this is about continue to keep keeping your eyes on the prize, continue to keep working hard, continue to keep dedicating yourselves to your dreams because they're manifesting right before your eyes. So let's talk about the second part, the healer of ages, the page of swords, the empress and the hermit. 
let's talk about the empress being dead smack in the middle again you are someone who is very powerful it is pairing with the healer of ages you are you could be a shaman all right you like i said you could be a reiki healer but this empress is about being creative it's about being beautiful it's about being nurturing caring giving loving it's about being you know um making your dreams manifest into fruition giving birth to your ideals i feel like for some of you you have a lot of different ideals that you want to manifest you have a, a lot of ideals that keeps coming to you write those ideals down do not let those slip because they're coming into your mind for a reason but this page of swords it says an exciting new challenge you have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. And here is an owl here. So I feel this owl is telling you to use wisdom in situations, Aquarius. Use your intuition. Use your discernment. What does not feel right, don't go with it. And also, again, you got people wanting to collaborate with you. So read through any documents. Read through anything before you sign it. Read through or ask all the questions you need to. Even if you have to... Say, hey, I need to come back with an answer a, another day, not today. Can I can I reach back out to you tomorrow or whatever the case may be? This is about truth being truthful. You know, this is about being analytical, being logical, being strategic. Because look at you are going through a spiritual growth Aquarius with this hermit showing up right next to the Empress. This is who you're becoming. This is who you're becoming. Do you see the transition? From the spiritual growth coming into the empress, coming into this powerful person where you're going to be untouchable. You're going to be unstoppable, okay? And again, that is why you got this psychic protection, this shield of armor around you because you are the queen of pentacles. You are the queen of pentacles. This is about continuing to nurture yourself, all right? But also nurture the ones that you love that's around you. This is about, you know... The Queen of Pentacles, she's stable, she's abundant, she's well off, she's very powerful, she's resourceful. I mean, I can I, I can keep naming the Queen of Pentacles. She's she sits on her throne. She knows her strength. She's no, she knows her her power. She knows who she is. She's very confident. This is who you are going to have to embody, Aquarius. You got big and great things happening here for you on the horizon. And people see you, okay? So, again, going back to everybody don't mean you well. And that's what this Five of Swords is telling me. You already been through the ringer. You already been through the hurt, okay? You Something already has ended in your life. You've already completed something. Look at the two swans. The swans is all about trusting your psychic gifts. It's about trusting the transformation. This You've already transformed. And that is why. Because you've been through the rancor. You've been through the hurt. You've been through people who don't mean you any well. Somebody here may be still focusing on those losses. With this five of swords and this five of cups. Some of you may still be surrounded with people who don't mean you good. It's time to let go because you are blossoming. You are blossoming. And overall energy is the seven of swords. Look at this. There is a better course of action available. This is your overall energy. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. You have an angel trying to guide you on the right path, Aquarius. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the messages. Pay attention to the number synchronicities. We got one, two, three. Archangel Michael showed up four times. This is the angel of protection. With the psychic protection, you have so much protection around you. Trust the path that you're being guided to. As you can see, there are two different paths. You're trying to go this way and they're trying to stop you. They're trying to tell you to choose a new direction, Aquarius. It's the energy that is showing up here for you. Wow. 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 Very, very powerful reading. All right. So I want to get one from this deck as I'm actually being told. And then we're going to close out with the message here, okay? Let's let's get one from this deck. 
here, guys. What is the message? What's the advice we have for Aquarius? What's the advice? Then we're going to get you a close out. What's the advice we have for my Aquarius spirit? What's the advice here? I cannot help but just see. Look at all the gold in the background. Look what she's dressed in. Do you see the roses? It's like, I mean, just beautiful. You're, it's like lux, luxurious, abundance, prosperity, wealth, joy, peace, laughter, happiness. I mean, this is all yours for the taking. Tell me the advice here for Aquarius spirit. What's the advice for Aquarius? We have the lizard spirit. Look at that. I love it. Dream your world into being. Dream the world into being. Didn't I say not? This is about you making your dreams a reality, Aquarius. This is about you chasing after your dreams. Whatever it is that fuels your soul. Absolutely. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Again, spirit is all around here. They are here guiding you, strengthening you, supporting you, protecting you. Listen to the voice. Listen to the guidance. All right? So let's get you a close out message as we wrap up this reading here for you, Aquarius. What's the close out message here for Aquarius? Some of you may have Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus somewhere in your chart. What is the energy as we close out this message, Spirit? What advice do you have for the sign of Aquarius, Spirit? What's the close out message as we wrap up? Calling on you. What's the closeout advice that you have for Aquarius? Look at that. All right. We have the growth spirit path of the south. You got the growth card, opportunity, acceptance, and gateway. Let's read your card as we wrap up. It has the number 35 on there, okay? 35 reduces to the number eight. Standing at the gateway to a new cycle within your life, you are frozen by the fear of what lies ahead. In the past, you have dealt with some of your fears and began the process of recognizing your own self-worth. Now, a great opportunity for a new beginning awaits you. Bring unity back into your life so you can move beyond your fears and focus on your future goals. You have reached a truly significant stage in your life. Prepare yourself by nurturing the growth occurring within you. Start by forgiving yourself and understanding that all of our experiences make us stronger. Growth is about taking responsibility for your life and moving beyond your fears and limitations to a greater sense of self. Accepting our innate abilities and our potentials as gifts from great spirit helps us realize that our fears are really only attachments of our ego, not our true self. We then begin to use our talents to be of greater service to the world. We begin to use our greater talents. Okay? We begin to use our greater talents to be a service to the world. It's about growing and going up that ladder. The South, we all know it's about going down. This is about growth so you can go up. All right, Aquarius. I love that closeout message here for you. I love you all to the moon and back. I hope this reading was nothing but a light, clarity, peace, strength, guidance, inspiration and so much more many blessings to you i love you to the moon and back i will see you very very soon
Bye.